Chapter 4, Part 2 As she came running to meet him, he could see that she was waving something in her hand that flashed as it caught the rays of the sun. It was a silver dollar. It's a birthday present, she explained, showing him the dollar. Isn't it beautiful? The sight of such wealth made John forget the triumphs of his own day. It's a good present, he said. Are you sure it's made of silver, though? I once got a whole bag of gold coins in a Christmas stocking, only they were chocolate coins covered with gold paper. Of course it's real silly, Susan said. My daddy said so. You can feel it if you don't believe me. She handed him that coin, the coin. John looked at the coin suspiciously. All right, Susan said, bite it. If you think it isn't real, go on, bite it. Hmm, oh no, if John bites the coin, what's gonna happen? John felt rather silly. I can see it's real now, he said. I don't have to bite it, but I want you to, Susan insisted. You weren't sure, we'll made We'll make sure. That's what they always do on television. When a cowboy wants to make sure a dollar's real, he bites it. John put the dollar about halfway into his mouth and reluctantly bit it, meaning he didn't want to but did. His teeth went right through the coin. The part that had passed between his lips was hard but sweet chocolate. Susan could hardly believe her eyes. She had given him a complete circle of silver. He sadly handed back a crescent, like a crescent moon, so half the coin is missing. John didn't know what to say. Susan couldn't speak. Tears trickled down her cheeks like rain down a window pane. She looked at the piece of dollar in her hand. She looked up at John, whose face was red with embarrassment. John Midas, Susan blurted out at last, I hate you. She turned and ran away before John could think of anything at all to say. Okay, go back into the virtual classroom and do the Google form for chapters one through four.